Titans have a new general manager, Rand Carthon, executive with the 49ers, now joins Tennessee. He had been the director of player personnel in San Francisco, also has worked for the Rams and the Falcons. John Robinson was fired by the Titans in November, so it's Rand Carthon and Mike Vrabel now working together moving forward with the Tennessee Titans. Several different names were in the mix, and it's just kind of a weird vibe right now with the Titans generally, the way they collapsed down the stretch. I mean, Mike Vrabel was in no danger and shouldn't have been. He was our coach of the year last year. I can't remember who won the NFL Coach of the Year award in 2021, but PFT made him the Coach of the Year, and he got a honey-baked ham in his honor for the effort. Uh, they, they, they have some work to do, but they're in a weak division, and we've seen what Vrabel can do with an endless cast of characters coming and going all the time. He'll have them competitive in 2023. Yes, I, I would think so. I mean, again, I'm 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 a huge fan of Mike Vrabel. I am the way they play football. You know, their their game planning. I mean, even again, I know they lost that Jaguars game, but man, they were undermanned. You know, they had issues. They managed the game perfectly. They really did. You know, and it took a miraculous play by the Jaguars to win the football game. I, I love this hiring of Rand Carthon. First off, I mean, his dad was, you know, my dad's fullback back in the day, number 44 for the New York Giants. He was awesome. He's, he's really one of the, the better fullbacks in the history of football. Could do it all. But Rand, I mean, again, I, I understand Mike Vrabel wanting a guy like Rand. You know, first off, he's going, wait, we played the 49ers last year. They got a bunch of guys that we talk about all the time, right, that are psycho, and the coach says run through a brick wall, and they don't even think. They just go. Uh, I could see him liking that. And Rand, of course, been around the game his whole life, but has a great history of, you know, knowledge just in his time in the NFL. Working for Thomas Dimitrov in Atlanta, who's got a good eye for talent, you know, at going to the, the, the Rams football team. And I know they weren't great, but the one thing I'll say about Jeff Fisher, his eye for talent uh, to me is is top notch. It's a reason the Titans were always relevant for so long. And then to go, you know, from there to the 49ers and, of course, the team they've accumulated there. So this is a guy that understands how to build team. He's got an eye for talent. And, and that's something I think they're missing a little there with Tennessee. They got a lot of stuff there. They need some playmakers, some sizzle like we talk about. And A.J. Brown again. They got to have some guys that can make some plays and not always make it about 10 plays, Derrick Henry, up the middle, we smashed you and scored that way. Uh, so that's where I think he'll add a, a lot of juice to the team. Our old friend Rob Stats Guerrera, a 49ers fan. Oh, yeah. Much all of his life. That old Stats. Sent this last night. Ah. Trey Lance Instagram post with a picture of Rand Carthon oh. and fingers crossed emojis cascading. Why? Why would you upwardly. do that? Why would you do know. that? I don't know. What does he think everybody's going to think even if he doesn't? You know, even if there's something I else behind this, what does he think everybody's going to think? Why? Your what, team, what would your fingers be crossed for? Right. I don't know. I hope it works out for him. I, I mean, right? I, I, other than that, it seems like your fingers are crossed because you're going, I hope he takes me to Tennessee. Why? Right now, your team's in the divisional round, right? You're not doing anything. You know, put that picture out and say, good luck, ran, period. Like, why? why? I just... It just it frustrates me with, with current players at times with these cryptic social media messages that are distractions. One finger crossed emoji for each of the first round picks the 49ers gave up to get Trey Lance <laughs> in 2021. <laughs> Gives us something to talk about. Yes, it Gives does. us something to keep an eye on. And hey, hey, with each passing victory, Brock Purdy cements himself as the guy in San Francisco, well, the guy that they'd been searching high right. and low to find ended up being the last guy drafted in 2022. Yeah. Well, you know, it is, it, again, it makes me think about what they would be if they had Mac Jones and they drafted him. Okay. That's the first thing I'll say. But secondly, like you're right. I mean, what, what's it, what's right now. All right. If they end the season this weekend, but he still plays good. Right. I mean, he's definitely getting the first team reps and OTAs and training camp. Right. I mean, there's, there's, is there any way actually at this point? I mean, what do you think it would take? He'd have to throw four interceptions and fumble the ball a few times, something along those lines. I feel like, I mean, it'd be pretty hard for the run he's got on here for Shanahan then to get to OTAs and go, yeah, you're back to the backup here. 
You know, and we're going to go with the guy that was raw and we were all kind of questioning and we're kind of develop, even though we saw you do all the things that the raw guy couldn't do and ran the offense the right way. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be very interesting there. I, I, I just feel like they're destined to make whatever decision they make a bad one, that they're just so caught up in their own heads about it. They're going to screw this up, too. It's the only the thing they can't get just right. Stick with right. Brock Purdy. Right. It's a, you know yeah. me, I love the 49ers and, and I'm a fan. And of course that. But yes, this seems to be the one issue that they cannot quite get right out there. They'd be in the midst of a dynasty right now if they had gotten the quarterback position. Right. All right. Let's take a break. In case you missed it from super duper wild card round. We'll do that next year on VFT Live. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.